people are asking what can they do if they decided to homeschool at the last minute because um, of the COVID situation again, and they want to know what can they do and what are their next steps? Right. I think a lot of people thought they were going to go back into in-class learning and then their plans changed. Or people, there were some people that were still thinking they wanted to uh, continue homeschooling, but now they're not sure what to do. Yeah, I think a lot of it is more the people who thought, uh, you know, after COVID homeschooling last year, they were sending their kids back to public school. But here we are with uh, the Delta variant swirling around. And I, I have been seeing so many people on my homeschool lists um, asking what to do. And last year we had a lot of episodes that addressed pandemic homeschooling, how to find low cost or no cost curriculum. So um, I do wanna refer folks back to those episodes, but um, what are the, the top three things we could tell them to do right now? Uh, one thing would be to make a decision. I think like we've talked to about before, you just have to decide what you're gonna do. Then you can move forward one way or the other. So if you decide you're gonna homeschool, I would say the first thing to do is go listen to some of those earlier episodes. Go and see uh, what curriculum you can find online. Like if you really pressure to start right away, look for some of those online resources that you can use. Ampleside Online, Easy Peasy Homeschooling, things like that. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would also say that if your children were enrolled in school, you need to withdraw them and follow the uh, recommendations of your state homeschool group on how to do that. Um, because if you don't withdraw them properly, you're going to get a visit from a truant officer. And that's not a great first start in homeschooling. No, we should make that step number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, and then you're right, if you weren't planning to homeschool, you probably don't have a little pile of money to buy curriculum. So looking for things that are low cost or no cost, um, Khan Academy um, has resources for kids from, I believe, kinder now, all the way up through high school. Mm -hmm. And they're, again, pointing you back to the episode we had for no cost, low cost homeschooling. That will get your foot in the door. And then the third thing I would say is just get plugged in mm -hmm. to Find your local your homeschool groups. They are going to be the ones that help you. Um, the, the local Facebook homeschool groups will have uh, social opportunities. The other thing I've seen people saying in uh, conjunction with uh, homeschooling all of a sudden or you were going to send your kid back to school, but now you're not. They've been mentioning socialization. Socialization should not be a problem for homeschoolers if you take advantage of the many opportunities that homeschoolers have for you. So uh, we like to do uh, social park days. In fact, this Thursday, we're going to be doing a park day at a splash pad. The day that the public schools go back in our county, um, we're going to the splash pad to have fun with some homeschool friends. So get your kids out of school properly by withdrawing them. Look for some cheap, inexpensive curriculum. That doesn't mean it's not good curriculum, but it's not going to cost you a lot and get plugged in. Those would be my top three. Would you add anything? Should we make four? No, those are the three that would, I would say to start with. Just get started. And as you go, you'll fine tune your, your program. But you can always, you know, ask us for some more help if you need it. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at happyhomeschoolpod at gmail.com. Like our page and join our group on Facebook at facebook.com slash happyhomeschoolpod. Check out our Instagram at instagram.com slash happyhomeschoolpod. Follow us on Twitter at underscore homeschoolpod. And subscribe to the Happy Homeschooler podcast on YouTube. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Melody. I'm Holly. Happy, Happy homeschooling. homeschooling. Hi, this is your host, Melody Gillum. Thank you for listening to the Happy Homeschooler podcast, a transcript maker production. My co-host is Holly williams Erbach. This episode was produced by Matthew Bass and edited by Nora Williams. Our graphic design is by Pete Soloway, and our music is by The Great Pangolin. You can find our music on YouTube and Twitter at Kylie Wins. That's K-A-I-L-E-Y Wins. If you'd like to help our podcast grow, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Or, as always, 
tell people about us.